Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more concept in compiler design that is LALR parser. LALR parser. So in our previous session we have seen a different categories of parsers that is a LR0 uh, parser, a SLR parser, CLR parser. So all these parsers will be comes under the bottom of parsing technique and similarly this LALR parser will also comes under the bottom of parsing technique and the working of LALR parser is almost similar to CLR parser, CLR parser. So the steps we followed in the CLR parser will be equal to the LALR parser, LALR means look ahead LR parser. So what is the difference among the CLR and LALR? So only one difference that is we can reduce the parsing table in LALR when compared to the CLR, right? So let me write down the steps. The first step, step one, which is a creation of augmented grammar, a creation of augmented grammar. And step two, after creation of augmented grammar, we have to find out the LR1 parser, can canonical items. So LR1 items, so which is equal to LR of zero plus look ahead, look ahead. So this is nothing but LR1 items. And the step three, we need to numbering the productions, whatever the productions we have taken, we have to numbering the productions, numbering of productions, productions. And then step four, creation of a parsing table, okay. So creation of parsing table. So in order to create this parsing table, that will be done with the help of step two and step three. That implies the LR1 items as well as the number of productions. And coming to the step five, coming to the step five, after creation of parsing table, right? So in this creation of parsing table, we have to identify the items or the productions or the states which are having the same productions with a different look ahead symbols. So we have to reduce this parsing table with that one, right? So after that, input should be parsed. Input should be parsed. And once the input has been successfully parsed, then the sixth step is the construction of construction of State, the two bottom up, the two bottom up, and in this we have to combine combine states with same productions, same productions with different look ahead symbols, different look ahead. So this is the only difference among LR, uh, CLR parser and the LALR parser. And with the help of this one, we have to create this parsing table. So these are the steps we need to follow. And now we'll take an example, uh, like here I'll take the productions. Yes tends to A, A, A tends to small A, capital A, and capital A tends to small B. So I am erasing this one and let us solve, let us construct this parse string for the same example which we have taken for the CLR parser. Okay. So the first step is an augmented. So yes dash tends to dot a, sorry, yes dash tends to dot s. And if it is dot s, we need to write down the productions of yes also. So yes tends to dot a, a, sorry. And a tends to 
dot small a capital A and A tends to small b. So this is the augmented grammar. Augmented grammar. Now what we have to do? We have to calculate the LR1 items. That means the LR0 along with the look ahead symbols. Now I'll, I'll draw here. So I'll take the first state dot s s tends to dot a a a tends to small a capital A and a tends to small b. So here initial state the look ahead symbol will be dollar. Okay. For s tends to dot a a so this is the look ahead for s. So what happens here s tends to dot s comma dollar and now we have to find out the look ahead symbol for this dot a a right yes yes production for this after dot yes we need to find out the first in order to find the look at symbol so what's the first of this one dollar so this will be dollar now we have to find out the look at symbol for production a which is small a capital a so after dot capital a and we have to find out the first of this one so we need to find the first of this, these items. So A, A means small a capital B. Sorry, small a and small b. So you can write it as small a, small b. So it is small a and small b. And there is a one more production for A. So simply you can write here also. Small a, small b. So these are the productions with look ahead. So without these look aheads, that will be the LR of 0. Now, the production along with the look ahead, we call it as a LR of 1. So, this will be the initial state I0. So, we need to expand each and every state such that for every production, the dot should be at the end of the production. For example, if you see here, dot S. Yes. So, this can be expanded. So, next step, dot will be moved towards the right side. And we have to repeat the same process until the dot reaches to the end of the right hand side of the production. So here I write upon capital S, so after dot we are having S, so on capital S, so it will be S dash tends to S dot comma dollar. So check out whether any production is having S immediately after the dot. So no other production except the first production there is a dot S. So this will be the only one production in this particular state, in this particular state. Now, the next one upon capital A, upon capital A. So what happens here? S tends to A dot A dollar. What is here? After dot we are having a non-terminal. If we are having a non-terminal after dot, we have to write down the productions of that particular non-terminal. So here, after that, we are having capital A. So we have to write down the productions of capital A. So capital A is equal to A, A, and the look ahead symbol will be dollar. And similarly, A tends to, sorry, dot A, A, and there also dot, and dot B, dollar. So this will be our another state. So for every time, we have to check whether these productions have been already uh, created, generated or not. If not, that will be considered as a new state. If yes, the same state number will be given here. Now, the next one upon small a. What happens? a tends to a dot a, a or b. So again, after dot we are having a non-terminal. So what happens here? So again we have to write down the productions for capital A because it's a non-terminal. So, capital A tends to, what happens, dot A, A, A or B and capital A tends to dot B and A or B. So, this is the another state. So, check whether it has been done with the any other previously, any other production, any other state generated, right? So, no, this was a new, new state. And upon B, we can say A tends to B dot comma A or B. See. 
and further we can't expand any anything right so you can see in the productions after dot s is there after dot a is there after dot small a is there and after dot small b is there now give the numbers so this will be i1 i2 i3 and finally i4 now whether i1 can be expanded or not no because in this production you can observe dot has been reached to the end of the production so what about the second state yes so from the second state there can be up to a small a small b after that we are having a three terminal and non terminal uh, values so capital a small a small b so we will be expanding this one with a capital a which gives the production s tends to a a dot comma dollar so dot reaches to end of the production so we need not go with the any other production here and coming to here uh, with a small a it will be a tends to a dot a comma dollar and here we can observe after dot we are having a non terminal so we have to write down the productions of a non terminal so a tends to dot a a with a dollar and a tends to dot b with a dollar okay now this is a another one so i am not giving any state number because we have to check whether the productions have already been generated or not and next upon b there is a one more production that is a tends to b dot comma dollar this is a one more production this is a one more production now you can check whether uh, these productions has been generated a a dash a a dot so there is no thing so it will be a new state we can state it as a i5 and a is equal to a dot a dot a a dot b yes see i3 is similar to this one but there is a difference upon the look ahead here the look ahead is a or b here the look ahead is dollar so what we have to do so give a state another state and see a tends to b dot and see here uh, it is look ahead is a by b a or b and here it is a dollar so this is also a different so give it is as a i7 now we have to expand this one so upon a what will be there a tends to a a dot comma a or b so here also the dot reaches to the end of the state and then the next one upon small a dot sorry a tends to a dot a a or b and see a dot after dot we are having a non terminal again we have to write down all the productions of uh, uh, non terminal a so i am writing all these things a tends to dot b which is again a or b so this is a one more state and upon b it is a tends to b dot comma a or b b dot a or b now you can check whether this production has been generated or not a tends to a a dot so you can check anywhere no so this will be i8 i8 and you can check here a not dot a yes a by b dot a a a by b dot b a by b yes so this is similar to our state i4 so you need not go with this one it is not a new state so it will go with the i4 so i3 upon a goes to i4 then what about this one a tends to b not a by b this is also similar which is similar to our see upon b it will be i4 sorry it is i3 it is i3 and it will be i4 right now what we have to do next move on with the another one so we are not giving the new state numbers now what we have to do go with the i6 so whether i5 can be expanded no i4 can be expanded no i6 yes we, it can be expanded so upon capital a upon capital a the productions will be a tends to a a dot comma dollar this is one production and upon uh, small a it will be a tends to 
a dot a comma dollar and uh, a tends to dot a capital a dollar and a tends to dot b dollar so this is a one more and upon b it will be a tends to b dot dollar so upon b now check whether it has been generated a a dot a a dot so but the lookahead symbols are different so we can do the new state it is i9 and what about this one a dot a dollar a dot a dollar dot b dollar so i6 itself so we need not draw this one so simply we can give it as a i6 that means i6 upon a will still go with the i6 only and now coming to this one a tends to b dot dollar here yeah, it is b dot dollar so obviously it will be the i7 it will be the i7 okay so now check whether i7 can be expanded no i8 no and i9 no so everything has been done none of the state can be expanded now now let us stop here so these are all the lr1 items lr1 items with a look ahead right so what we have to do the next one is give the numbering for the productions so let us let us give this as a 1 a 2 and a 3 so i have given the production numbering now what we have to do we have to create the parsing table so before creating the parsing table identify the states which are equal in the productions but different in the look ahead so i'll write here identify states with same productions but different look ahead look ahead so let us check i1 that is a unit i2 and is there any other states no i3 and you can see i3 and i6 both are productions equal but look at symbols are different so i3 and i6 any other i4 a tends to b dot here a tends to b dot here a by b here dollar so i4 and i7 what about the next i5 is there any other no i7 already we have done i8 a a dollar c again here a a do, dot here dollar d so i8 and i9 any other symbols no so because i9 is a last step so this can be combinedly known as i36 and this can be combinedly known as i47 and this can be combinedly known as i89 so almost we are reducing the three different states we are combining three different states so with the help of this one we have to create the parsing table now write on the parsing tables here sorry right here same productions okay same productions but different look ahead now what we have to do we have to write on the parsing table construct the parsing table so how we can construct the parsing table so we have to write the actions here and here we have to write it as a go to. So under the actions, we have to write all the terminals. What are the terminals here? A, B, and dollar. And what are the terminals which we have to write on go to? Yes, A. Yes, A. Now what are the states we are having right on here? 0, 1, 2, and 3. 3, we can write it as a 3, 6. So, 36, 4 can be written as 47. 47, 5, 6 already written, 7 already written, 8. So, 8 and 9. So, these are the only rows we are creating for parsing table. So, obviously, you can notice that we have reduced the parsing table. So previously, that means in CLR, 
what we have do, what we have done we have taken total nine states but coming to this lalr so we are combining the states which are having the same productions similar productions but with a look different look ahead right so we have combined the three different states 3 and 6 4 and 7 and 8 and 9 now the procedure is common the same procedure what we have to do i not on yes so for the actions we have to write it as a shift and the state symbol and for go to we have to write only the state symbol i uh, sorry uh, state number i not on yes it goes to 1 i not on yes it goes to 1 and i not on yes it goes to 2 I not on A, it goes to 2. I not on small A, it goes to 3. Small A, it goes to 3, S3. See, here 3 and 6 are combined. So, instead of 3, what we have to write it as? S3, 6. S3, 6. So, whenever we got a 3 or whenever we got a 6, we have to write it as a 3, 6. Then, I not on B, it is a 4. I not on B, it's a 4. So here 4 and 7 combined. So we have to write it as 4 and 7. Right? Next, I1. There is no other production. It's not expanded. That's the end. And we can see this is the end starting symbol. Right? So we can say 1 on dollar is a ad set. Ad set. Okay, 1 on dollar will be the ad set. Now I2 on capital A goes to I5. I2 on capital A goes to I5. And I2 on small A goes to I6. I2 on small A goes to I6. But here 3 and 6 combined. So 3, 6. And I2 on B goes to 7. I2 on B goes to 7. So again we are combining both the states 4, 7. And I2 on B, right, completed. Coming to I3. So, I3 on capital A goes to I8. I3 on capital A goes to I8. So, here we are taking it as a 3, 6. No problem. I3 on small a goes to I3. I3 on small a goes to I3 itself. That means again 3, 6. And I3 on small b goes to I4. Again, it will be 4 and 7. And I4 is an end state. Here you can say I4 is an end state. So, here we have combined both the 4 and 7 because the productions are equal. So, what we have to do? We have to find out the numbering of this production. What number? It's a 3. So, I4 upon A, B and dollar. Okay, look at symbols. A, B and dollar. In all these 3, what we have to write? Reduce 3. R3. R3. And R3. Reduce. Okay. Now, I4 completed, I5, I5 is also end. So, I5 is also end means, check out the number of the production, numbering of the production. What is the numbering of the production here? 8, uh, 8, A dot, that means 1. So, what is the look at symbol? Dollar. So, 5 on dollar, it will be R1. 5 on dollar, it will be R1. And then, 6, 6 upon A. It will be 9. Yes, here already we have written here. So, we need not, uh, yes. So, 6 upon A, it is 9, which is a 8, 9. So, already we have written there. Okay. So, it is a 89. If we got 8, we have to combine both 8 and 9. So, I6 on A, it is 9, which is a 89. So, 89 I have written there. I7, it's an end. So, already we have written R3 for both the dollar and the AB. I8, I8, it is also end. What is the symbol number, uh, production number? It is a 2. Where we have to uh, place A, B and 9 dollar. In all three cases, we have to go with the R3. So, sorry. A, A dot, that means R2. So, we have to write R2 and R2 and R2. So, this is the parsing table. This is the parsing table. Okay. Simple thing. Before creating the parsing table, what we are doing is, we are identifying the states which are having the same productions but different look aheads. 
So from this we are combining the both the states into a single state column 36, 47, 80, 89. So 36 means state 3 and state 6 are having the same productions with a different look aheads. 4, 4, 7 means two states numbering 4 and 7 having the same productions with a different look ahead. Similarly 8, 9 is a two states with the numbering 8 and 9 having the same productions with a different look aheads. So we are with the help of these all these things we are creating the parsing table. Now what is the next step? Successfully we have created the parsing table. Now we have to input, parse the input string. Now we have to parse the input string. So how we can parse the input string? We have to take the input string. So I am erasing this one. So I am also erasing this one. We can parse the input string right now. Consider one input string. So whatever the input string we have taken in our earlier example, we will take the same thing. So the input string is A, A, B, B. This is the input string. So we have to parse this input string. So what we have to do? So first, uh, right. Right. so first one is a stack. Next input. And the next one is an action. Next one is an action. So we have to start parsing the input. So the input is A, A, B, B, dollar. And stack is initially dollar and we have to start with the zero. So zero upon A. So zero upon A. Zero upon A is a shift 36. Shift yes 36. What we have to do? We have to shift the input symbol here, zero, A, and give the number of state 36. State symbol, state number 36. And now what we have to do? What we write down the remaining string. A, B, B, dollar. A, B, B, dollar. I am also erasing this one. Now what, what, what we have to do? 36 and A. 36 upon A, again shift 36. So again, shift 36. So the same process which we have followed in our CLR parser, right? So again, we are shifting the input symbol towards the stack A36 and we are shifting this one A and again it is a 36. The remaining string is B, B, dollar. Now again 36 on B, 36 on B, it's a 47. Now again, shift, yes, 47. So what we have to do? Again, we have to shift B and give the number 47. So dollar, zero, a 36 a 36 b 47 the remaining is b dollar so 47 on b 47 on b which is a r3 that means we have to reduce okay so reduce with r3 r3 means third production what is the third production a tends to b third production is a tends to b so we have to replace this one with a so 0 a 36 a 36 and this can be replaced with a now you can check we have to compare the state number along with the terminal uh, sorry yeah, yes state number along with the input symbol but here there is no state number so what we have to do we have to move on with the previous stack previous top of the stack what's the previous top of the stack 36 36 upon a 36 upon A, it is 89. Now it will be 89 and B dollar. Again, check with 89 on B. 89 on B, it's a R2. Again, reduce with R2. So what's the R2? A tends to AA. So if you observe, this is in the form AA. This is in the form AA. So what we have to do? We have to reduce. So what happens here? Zero. A 36 and everything can be reduced with capital A. Capital A. B dollar. Okay. B dollar. Now there is no number here. Again, we have to repeat the same process. Go with the previous top of the set. 36 on A. 36 on A is 89. Again, it will be 89. Okay. Now 89 on B. 89 on B, which is R2. Again. 
reduce with R2. So again you can check 0, A, A, that means a capital A. A, A means a capital A. So capital A, that implies there is no number. So we can go with the A, 0 upon A, 0 upon A it is a 2. And it is B dollar. What we have to do, again check with the 2 with B. 2 with B, it's a shift. Shift yes 47. What you have to do? We have to shift B and write down the state number 47. Dollar 0 A 2 B 47 dollar. So check with 47 on dollar. 47 on dollar. Reduce. Reduce R3. Reduce with R3. R3 is A tends to B. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to replace this B with capital A. So 0, A, 2 and this will be replaced with a capital A. There is no number. Again move on with the previous top of the stack. 2, 2 upon A. 2 upon capital A. It's a 5. 5. It's a dollar. So 5 upon dollar. So 5 upon dollar. It's a R1. So you can check reduce R1. So what's the first production? A, A, yes. So this is like in the same way. So dollar 0, yes. A to A5 can be replaced with yes. And dollar. You can check yes on dollar. So there, uh, sorry. Yes, there is no number. So we have to go with the previous top of the check. 0, 0 upon yes. 0 upon yes, it is 1. So 1. And now you can check 1 with the dollar. So 1 with the dollar, it's an accept. Accept. So that implies the given input string can be parsed with the given grammar or given productions okay so we have to draw the parse string from the bottom so yes is the last one and that can be expanded with a a and capital a and this a is expanded with a b so which is a terminal which cannot be expanded further and this a is my again uh, a and a and this cannot be expanded further and this can be again expanded with a and a and this cannot be expanded and a is replaced with a b so this will be b which cannot be expanded further so if you observe all the terminals that means the leaf nodes so we got the input string a a b b so we are approaching bottom up approach so in this way we have to uh, sort solve the LLR parser. We can parse the input string and we can derive the parse tree by using the LALR parser. Okay, so only difference we have seen is so before constructing the parsing table, after calculating the LR1 items, we have to identify the states which are having the same productions but at different look aheads. And we have to combine both the states. So that is the only thing we have done here. And rest of the procedure is similar to our CLR. So the CLR parser will also be uh, posted the link in the description. So you can follow that one. Right? So I hope you understood this LALR parser. And if you are having any doubts in this procedure and if you feel any difficulty uh, during this parsing, so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.